guys, it's Bella, or as I'm going to be as Bella Freestyle, and today we're going to be learning two cool whip tower tricks. This is what they look like. There's one, and then two. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you have probably seen this trick uh, quite a few times because I do them a lot and I also do some cool transitions with them. Um, so yeah, I wanted to teach it to you guys because I've gotten some requests uh, and some comments of how to do it. So yeah, here it is. And one more thing before we get started today, I'll be using the Yo-Yo Factory Monster R-Type. This is what it looks like. All, this is an unresponsive yo-yo, so it's the ones that don't come up to you with a tug. Uh, these are the all the yo-yos that I use. Um, and there will be a link in the, in the description box below. It'll say get a yo-yo here and you can get also some other cool colors in this yo-yo that uh, I love so you can go check those out uh, But yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the first whip to tower looks like this Now this one is definitely the harder of the two in my opinion because everything's happening at once and so it's gonna be a little harder to do than um, than the other one. So what you want to do to get started is you want to throw the yo-yo down a uh, breakaway and just let it fall like this and what basically what you're going to do is you're going to whip like this so it goes so it's going uh, clockwise and as you whip you're going to grab it with your pointer finger like this so you're going to grab it like that and as the string comes around to this hand again you're going to grab the string with your pinky so it's going to be like like that. Okay, so I'll put it in slow motion. So I'll put it in slow motion now. So when you're there, uh, in midair, what basically what happens is the that string. So as you're like this, the rest of that string is going to whip under the yo-yo like that, and it's going to basically the yo-yo is going to fall in between that slack that go that comes around. So I'll put it in slow motion so you guys can see. So like that, and then it's going to go in. And so you're like this, and so that you know how to whip it, you pinch here, put your uh, not throw hand under your throw hand, and you want to. Pinch, and as you pinch, whip. like that, and just whip and like towards the yo-yo, and almost let it fall in between there. So as you can see, that string based the whip that comes, it basically goes over the yo-yo. So the yo-yo goes into the slack and that's what forms the Eiffel Tower shape. When you're doing it all together, it's going to definitely be a little harder because you've been doing it like, like this, right? But what is really going to help is doing that a lot. So just to get the feel of how you do it. So you're going to grab that and as you pinch, just whip it in and just like just try and whip it in and you can even videotape yourself because it makes it easier to see like where the string is going so you can videotape yourself put it in slow motion and see so just like that and you see how that's how as I go like this here watch you saw that loop come around my hand that is what is going to turn and make it into the yo-yo or into the gap. So as you do it like this, that string that, in, as you go like this, you're literally gonna just whip the string. So as you've been doing it the whole time, just like this, right? That string, you're literally just gonna do it in midair. So if you grab this and you, you wanna face your palm up, so I didn't land it there, but you wanna face your palm up like this. So up, you see? And as I go like this, it, it gives that whole space in between these strings for the yo-yo to, yo -yo to land. And that's where it's going to land. And then it's going to put in, or be in the Eiffel Tower. So I'll do one, another slow-mo for you so you can see. So 
So you see how as I as I go like this and click my wrist up, that's what lets it fall in, into place. So that is going to be really helpful so that it, you don't have to like focus too much on like super like whipping the string like that, but you just have to go like this. And so flick your wrist and it's gonna go forward and you're gonna face your palm up just like that. Like I said earlier, this definitely is the hardest of the two that I'm going to be teaching today just because there's a lot happening at once and the timing kind of needs to be just right for it to work. So just uh, make sure that you're practicing each step uh, separately and make sure, making sure that you can get uh, each step perfectly down like multiple times in a row like five or six times in a row so that you're con you feel confident in it and then just go for it and just like go for it you can film yourself it makes it easier too um, but just go for it and just try and hit it because it makes it so much um, easier to see it when you do it all at once and yeah, so just practice and practice and I'm sure you guys can get it. Okay, and on to the last one. So the last one looks like this. Okay, so this one is um, easier, a little bit easier than the other one. So uh, what you wanna do is if you guys don't already know negative hook, um, then I would recommend uh, learning that first because it is kind of what you can do this trick from that makes it look like even cooler. So. Um, once you know negative hook, what you want to do is, actually, eh, I just figured something out. So, actually, if you guys do not know negative hook, then you can also do this. So, throw a trapeze breakaway, and what you want to do is you want to swing the yo-yo in front of your hands over your um, pointer finger like this, and it's going to go counterclockwise, so it's going to go over your hand like this. And so you're in the same mount then. So if you guys don't know uh, negative hook, you can also just do that. So trapeze over like this. And then what you wanna do is just like we use our pinky in the other one, you wanna use your pinky again. So you want to hit, hit the strings with your pinky like this and let it, let it fall over like that, okay? And as you can see, we're in the same mount that we were in the other one. So like I said, we're in the same mount. Um, as you can see, we're in the same mount as we were before. So we are just in the same like configuration of strings and everything. So now that you guys know the other one, you can just whip the string and it'll make the tower. And that is basically how you do the second one. So if you do like here and you're like this, you can just let go of everything because it's, it's not gonna be in a knot or anything. So it just comes with practice. So as you guys are, are doing it, you can like, go up and then like twist your um, hand in up like that, just like the other one, and then drop everything and you're, and there you go. And then you can just uh, drop it and you combine from there. And there you guys go. So that is how to do two really cool whip tower tricks that I love to do and I think are really fun to do. I put them in my videos a lot because they're so much fun to like do transitions with and stuff. So if you guys do end up landing this trick and posting it somewhere on Instagram or TikTok, you can also at me um, or tag me. Uh, my name is in the description box below. It's Bella Freestyle on Instagram. So if you guys want to go uh, check me out and also if you need any help, you can also DM me on Instagram. I'm happy to help you guys if you need any help. But if you do need a yo-yo, you can get one in the link in the description box below. So I get a yo-yo here. That's where I get all my yo-yos, so, uh, there so there's some really cool colors in this one too. It's called the Monster R-Type, um, and yeah. really hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below, and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it to get notified when I post. So I hope that everyone has an amazing week, and I'll see you guys next time. But in the meantime, keep freestyling. Peace.